Hi, it's Jesse with a member update for the middle of July. Thrilled to announce that the BCWF with our partners, New IH and Lower Nicola, just completed our first series of Beaver Dam analogs. We're really thrilled about bringing this technology to BC. I want to say thanks to the uh, team at the provincial government for getting all the permits processed. Uh, those are our first three. We've got 97 to go. This is exciting work for fish, for water, for wetlands. Great job, everyone. Uh, in the world of uh, fundraising, our Fish T50 has now surpassed 150,000. Want to say uh, thanks to Boat Bliss Marine for their uh, boat that they've helped contribute to the um, to the conservation lottery. This lottery is going very well. We appreciate everyone's support. This helps fund important projects, just like the one I mentioned around Beaver Dam analogs. Uh, last week we had our conservation webinar on the uh, research in the Elk Valley. I want to say thanks to Clayton Lamb and uh, Lanny Amos uh, for their presentation. Tons of great engagement on that one. Uh, thanks to Tech for their support on that project and Sparwood Club, way to go. You championed that project. Some really exciting results, great engagement. If you didn't get a chance to see it, have a look on our YouTube channel. Next week, July 24th, we're actually going to have a presentation from uh, a vet from the Canadian Food Inspection Agency. Uh, Zoe Stacy is going to be presenting on whirling disease. This is one of the new threats in British Columbia as it relates to our aquatic ecosystems and particularly our fish. Uh, that should be a good one as well. So July 24th at 7 p.m. Uh, we raised some flags around Vetter River gravel extraction again this year. I appreciate everyone who's reached out. We've certainly heard some chatter back from um, the uh, provincial government. Uh, we're hoping to get this uh, postponed for this, this year so we can do some more work to really establish where gravel removal is appropriate versus where it isn't. And of course, we want to make sure that we're taking care of fish first. Uh, in the world of education, our Port Alberni Kids Camp still has room August 19th to 23rd. If you know anyone who has a kid or if you have a kid out there, be sure to sign up. Uh, these, these camps fill up every single year and uh, parents really love them. Kids learn a whole pile of skills. Uh, lots of great fishing reports this summer all over the coast. Uh, it's really great to, to hear and see. We're hearing all kinds of great reports around coho. Uh, sockeye are coming in really strong, Chinook runs seem to be doing quite well, and even some of the early results uh, around Dean and Skeena Steelhead are looking good. We don't know why, uh, something's changed in the ocean possibly, uh, but we'll take the good news. For all you sheep hunters who are going to be heading out here uh, in short order, please remember keep it 8 plus on your harvest. Make sure that uh, any sheep that you harvest is over 8 years old. Uh, we want to make sure that things are sustainable and that we're not negatively affecting um, sheep. So make sure that you're getting uh, at least eight rings. Wildfire season has started. It's been warm for the last few weeks. Uh, everybody should be conscientious. There's also a wildfire, a fire ban across most of the province. Uh, so be conscientious when you're out there. If you see wildfires, please report them. Uh, you know the drill. Prevention is the best medicine. Uh, we're working with the province intensively to get controlled, prescribed, and cultural burns up and off the ground. It's going to take some time. Uh, in the meantime, it's going to be smoky summers. We've got some smoke showing up here in the Okanagan today. Uh, and the last one for everyone who has BCWF swag, Marks now has uh, free shipping through our online store. So if you're looking for some uh, outdoor gear that's branded by the BCWF uh, through Marks, please check out our store. You can get all of your gear there. Hope everyone's enjoying summer, hopefully getting lots of time camping, uh, fishing, and people are going to be out hunting here in short order. Stay safe, enjoy your time.